we run, we run what we would call, we would go flex set, 60, slow screen. We have a quick screen, but more often than not, we're going to run the slow screen. So what are we going to do? We've got to get Liz, 60 Liz, slow screen. He comes in motion. He sets up here just like he did on what? Just like he did on 60 Sting. He's doing the exact same thing. Okay, now, he's running the same thing, except rather than coming over here and occupying him, he wants to occupy him. Okay, he, three steps and cracking back inside on the first thing that he sees, above the waist and in front. Step and hinge, step and hinge, step and hinge, bob block, bob block, front side backer. I'm coming out of here, I'm looking. More often than not, we have this guy on a go route. He could run the sting route, whatever he wants to run, okay? Now, here is the key. These guys go a three count. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. He pulls out and he hits the first thing that shows. If nothing shows, he is taught to turn up. He doesn't just come out here and run out here and stand and then come back to the huddle or come back to the sideline and say, well, coach, nobody showed. So I just went on out there, okay? They got a rope tied to him. He's got a rope tied to him. He's got a rope tied to him. When he hits a three count and he goes, he goes. He turns inside also. We have a wall built with the split in and the guard. The center, the rope's tied to his waist. He's going to go. He's going straight up to whatever he sees. Now, the hardest part about this is this guy, when that tackle goes, he goes. He gets out here about five to six yards, and we have our back turn and face our quarterback. You're coming out here. You get your five steps. You turn, pivot, and you roll, and you start back this way. I think this is one of the key coaching points that I learned as a quarterback that really helps the screen go. Now, hey, ideally, why am I running this? Because this guy's coming like a bandit from the backside and giving us all kinds of problems. He's an athlete. My tackle's not an athlete. Major, major problem, okay? I'm expecting when I turn to come back here, he's going to be in here somewhere. I can just flip the ball out to the halfback and we got a great screenplay. We're going to turn straight up the field, okay? I turn and I come and I'm ready to throw the screen. And this guy read it. He read it and he's dropped off and he's right over here. I don't know how many times I can tell you I've seen kids actually still try to throw that screen in a DN, either pick it off, knock it down, or whatever. I teach our quarterbacks, when that happens, you take off running right at the guy. This defensive end that's sitting out here that has read the play will either finally come up to take you and you just flip it right over his head to the back, or he'll hang back, and if he does, the back will turn and block him, and you will run. I think that's a great thing for a quarterback to understand. Do not try to force the slow screen when it's not there.